worst decision to increase your Manjaro dose. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Counselors of Shopping and in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips of how we're gonna talk about the worst decisions of when you're thinking about titrating up on Manjaro or increasing your Manjaro dose or your Zepbound dose. Manjaro has been FDA approved for uh, type two diabetes and Zepbound, same thing as Eli Lilly's Manjaro, just approved separately for chronic obesity management or chronic weight management. So both are the same, same doses, same formularities. Uh, the active ingredient is terazepatide. Let's dive into the worst decision to increase your Manjaro dose. Again, I am have lost over 80 pounds with Manjaro in the last 14 months. Woo! And this is my experience, strength, and hope. I'm always going to punch you back to your healthcare professional. I'm not one, and so I want to make sure this helps to open up dialogues with your healthcare professional who's taking care of you. If you don't have a good healthcare professional that you have a dialogue with, I want to encourage you to check out down in the description link below my favorite telehealth provider for Manjaro and for Zepbound and for compounds too. Let's go ahead and dive in. Number one, the worst decision for wanting to increase your Manjaro dose, meaning you want to titrate up, say, for example, from Manjaro 2.5 milligrams to Manjaro 5 milligrams or Zepbound 2.5 milligrams to Zepbound 5 milligrams would be not having had an up-to-date blood panel of information right? Like getting proper data. I feel like that's really important. And from my experience, strength and hope over the last 14 months, um, I work with Join Fridays, an amazing telehealth company that makes me get blood panels on a chronic basis. They make me check in, they inspect what we expect, right? And I feel like a lot of people get their prescriptions without having had a blood panel in a while. And then they're discombobulated as to what's going on. And it's friends, you don't have the data. And in my experience, having those concrete numbers with my blood panel gives more of a picture and more of a painted um, landscape for my healthcare provider to help make a decision with me um, that we can collectively make that decision together. Um, and obviously, they're the healthcare provider leading into their experience, you know, their wisdom, of course, with their credentials. Um, so, number one, not having a blood panel. If you haven't had a blood panel recently and your healthcare provider has not asked you for a blood panel, <laughs> I'm going to wave my red flag. You might want to think about getting a GLP-1 telehealth provider like Join Fridays. You can use the code QUEEN with that. Number two, a worst decision for increasing Manjaro dose. From my perspective, with my 14 plus months of being on Manjaro and having been really successful with changing my A1C and having lost 80 pounds with it, is thinking of titrating up with your Manjaro dose for more appetite suppression. Oh, I've got appetite suppression now. I'm gonna increase up on Manjaro to get more appetite suppression. Do you know why that's number two? Because I did that. <laughs> Tell the truth and shame the devil, I did that. I was like, if a little is good, more is better. No, 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 friends. Lean into my mistake. Uh, this is why these are worse decisions because these are some of the things that I've done that I'm like, oh my gosh, that was such a dumb, dumb thing. I would use another word, but I, I, won't, I won't use that word on YouTube. I, it was a dumb, dumb decision on my part um, to even to go down that rabbit hole, thinking of having more appetite suppression. It makes sense, but there's a couple of things, in my opinion, um, that, that are better than titrating up and that I would encourage you to try instead of jumping to the next dose. So because I, and I always say this, Manjaro 15 milligrams is the highest dose. That is the ceiling, friends. You cannot go higher than that. You cannot break through that ceiling, my love. Uh, that is where the highest, and that's where I'm at right now. So all of this from my experience of like, okay, I'm, I, I'm not, I have said previously I'm stuck and amazing viewers have um, challenged me to reframe that. So I'm saying what a gift this is, what a blessing this is, but two years down the line, there's gonna be higher doses, maybe sooner, maybe later, but higher doses, but knowing that Manjaro causes common side effects, right? We know gastrointestinal, stomach, um, diarrhea, constipation, vomiting, nausea, and there's some serious ones too. And so with those higher doses, do they have more of those gastrointestinal ones? Like we just know that that's a fact with GLP-1 medications. So thinking of more appetite suppression as one of the reasons to increase your Manjaro dose, I want you to and encourage you to try a couple of other things. One, change your injection site. Eli Lilly gives us three places uh, in our Manjaro pamphlet and in our Zepbound pamphlet of where we should inject. Look at the, that purple diagram. As of right now, filming of this, it's a purple diagram. That may change. But as of right now, the purple diagram in your upper thigh, 
near in your stomach, abdomen, near your belly button. Use the diagram to help tell you where to put it and place it. And then number three is in the back of your arm. Um, change your injection site. My mistake was on Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, Manjaro 5 milligrams, Manjaro 7.5 milligrams, and just up to Manjaro 10 milligrams, I believe, if I'm remembering that correctly, for sure to 7.5 milligrams. I did not change the injection site. Change the injection site would be my encouragement because Eli Lilly tells us so in the literature. You may have, as I did, drastically different, different differences with those injection sites. For me, different side effects. I have different effects. Um, Right, it's this. I, I mispronounce it because again, I'm not a medical professional. Subcontain, subcutaneous. That's not the right way you say it. Subcontain. I'll put it in the description link below. We're injecting it in a specific place, and so because Eli Lilly has tested that obvi with their clinical trials, and so with that injection site, trying those different areas to see what your results do. For me, the best results that I get are in my upper thigh and the back of my arm, my stomach. I haven't done it. Um, I didn't do it for like two months. I was so annoyed. <laughs> it falling. I'm saying stomach, but you got to use the, we're using, can we just all agree to use the picture and that Eli Lilly gives us? Can we all agree on that? So I can just keep saying near my belly button or near my stomach. So everyone knows we're talking about the same thing. Um, with doing that in the, my stomach area, it is less effective for me for appetite suppression. Um, I don't really get as many side effects. I actually welcome side effects now. We've talked about that in other videos as why I welcome Manjaro side effects, but um, changing the injection site. Number two, with the appetite suppression, having a protein focus. Are you focusing in on protein would be my encouragement for you. For me, I do 100 to 120 grams. Some people clutch their pearls when I tell them that. It's a high amount. Um, and some people have actually encouraged me to go higher. Now I am almost six feet tall and I don't eat that on day one and day two, day one and day two, I typically do a mod one meal a day, which is protein focused, heavy protein focused with nutrient dense foods like fruits and vegetables. That is for my body of what works well for you. Um, I've got a couple of resources. I'll link in the description link below a Weight Watchers discount for their tracker is GLP one, which has been really helpful for protein. It's less for me than the 120, 100 to 120 grams. And then I have a GLP-1 dietitian I have been working with. I'm not quite sure if she's changed her program or not, so I'll link it down below, but it may have changed recently as another option for you to focus in on guidance for protein focus. And number three is um, element electrolytes. I am absolutely obsessed with element electrolytes to help in conjunction with my appetite suppression. It's not made for appetite suppression. It's actually made as an electrolyte with potassium, sodium, and magnesium. Magnesium and the sodium in there is not like table salt. People get their panties in a wad when they talk about table salt with that. It's not table salt like um, it's not table salt because that has high blood pressure inclinations and things like that. Those are stripped of the, it's stripped. This is actual sodium, potassium, and magnesium. And in there, what I do is I simply fill out my 40 ounce tumbler. Um, I'll link these down below. Element has given us a very gracious discount of eight free sticks with any purchase. I only, you guys know I love talking about Amazon, but I only purchase my um, electrolytes from Element's website. Use the link down in the description link below to go ahead and snag those. It is so amazing and you can go to the website and my code, the last part is um, Q-U-E-E-N. Go to Element's website and go ahead and snag those as well. Next, I, um, the next one is talking about number three is think of weight loss faster of why one of the worst decisions is changing the time of my injection. Ooh. Um, if you're thinking that you're going to titrate up to increase your dose because you want to lose weight faster, I would encourage you change the time of your injection perhaps instead. So instead, if you do your injection, I'm not saying change the day. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is maybe if you do your injection in the morning, do it in the late afternoon. See if that variation of time helps you. Now, if you're changing the location of your shot and the changing of the time, that may not give you the most accurate data. And this is why I talk about tracking so much. I have a free tracker down in the description link below and on my website, countessofshopping.com, which has 50 plus Manjaro blogs and articles and Zetbound articles and things on GLP-1 medications, teresdeptide medi stuff. Um, but maybe changing the time of your injection. If you take it at nighttime, maybe take it in the late morning. Switching that up to see if that helps you. If your Manjaro isn't for weight loss, that's Zetbound, but 
I know Majoro, I mean, in general, prescriptions, 30% of prescription are pres prescribed off-label. So <laughs> I know that a lot of people are taking Manjaro for weight loss. And so, um, but Eli Lilly tells us Manjaro is not for weight loss. It's for helping type 2 diabetics. That's what ZepBound was approved for. But with all of the Manjaro shortages and with the Manjaro savings card glitch, <laughs> like I can keep listing, I know there's a lot of people taking off-label prescriptions. Um, I have a free group with thousands of people. You're welcome to join it for Manjaro weight loss and ZepBound weight loss and WeGovi weight loss linked in the description. And so with that, altering that time of injection, if your goal is to have increased weight loss, Again, I would also encourage you to reframe, maybe only think about, you know, not maybe, I would encourage you, one to two pounds a week is a healthy cadence and rhythm. Losing more of that, in my humble opinion, take it or leave it, can be very dangerous. And so just be smart. Be smart. Of Fast is not better. Slow and steady wins the race. And so having, for me, and I'll talk back to my I statements, permanent sustainable lifestyle changes with these as well. So going back over, um, number four is talking about food chatter. If the worst decision to increase your Manjaro uh, dose is if you're having food chatter. For me, that actually isn't a worst decision. That's actually ding, 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 ding. For me, that's one of the best decisions. And for my body, when I know to have the conversation with my healthcare provider, as all of this is, is always talking with your healthcare provider um, about, hey, the food chatter's back. I've tried rotating my injection site. I've tried varying my time of my injections. Um, I know that I'm eating a protein dense food and that I'm not eating just garbage. <laughs> because, and I know, I know this because I've done it. Again, I'll be completely brutally honest. I have had on Manjaro where I'm like, I'm gonna eat garbage, but I know I'm eating a lot smaller portions, so it's not gonna affect me as much. That only got me so far. That's a shortcut, that's a air quote cheat. For me, this is making permanent lifestyle changes with my uh, food and then also with physical activity. If I'm still continuing to eat garbage over and over and over, and I'm not talking like a here and there um, treat or something, a celebration, I'm not talking that. I'm talking like continuous garbage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not a nutrient dense food. But if I am not, if I, when I'm having food chatter, is that because I'm eating, gar like am I looking at what I'm eating? And for me, it's had to go back to tracking. Literally, I don't know where I put my phone, but I was gonna say with my tracker, I hate tracking food. I don't, I don't hate anything. I really dislike tracking food, but I do do it with that Weight Watchers, the discount link that I have below, because a track number grows. And after two or three days, I can recognize pattern recognition of where there's a potential area that I, a hole in my dietary foods. And it's really helpful, right? Like it's honest. I take the emotion out of the equation and I'm honest about it. Going back to healing that unhealthy relationship with food and working really, really hard on that the past 14 months. So that food chatter for me is a signal knowing that I've changed my injection. I'm not just doing my stomach over and over and over and over and over again, but I varied and I've tried. And for me, I was very afraid to try, but it was worth being afraid it didn't hurt badly at all. My Botox hurts way worse and that doesn't even really hurt. Um, that doesn't hurt at all to me. N these don't hurt to me really. It's just like a, 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 a at worst, it's like a, a flick. Like, oh, oh. no, it's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt. Um, so changing the injection site, I know some people, that's the main reason why they don't. And I was there, but I want to encourage you to maybe try it <laughs> and changing the time of day and protein focus. And for me, still, if that food chatter was there, that was the time to increase. And that is why I moved out ultimately to Manjaro, 15 milligrams, food chatter was back. I was doing all of those things. Um, so check your motives. Number five is the worst decision to increase Manjaro dose is because of the Manjaro shortage. <laughs> it's actually not the worst decision, that's actually the best decision. Is there's things I can control and things I can change, and things I cannot control, and things I cannot change, and the wisdom to know the difference. I cannot control this Manjaro shortage that is happening as I'm filming this video, nor can you. You can start blaming it on all the people taking Manjaro for weight loss and their stamina, but, 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 but stop, just stop. It's not good for you to do that. Go into a positive, healthy space of whatever this is about the Manjaro shortage. <sighs> accept that it is, acceptance is the answer to all of my problems today, and then to proactively come up with a solution, right? So if you need to change doses because of the Manjaro shortage, right now as I speak on the FDA shortage list, this is going to change. But as of filming right now, and you can see my previous videos talking all about 
ways to navigate the Manjaro shortage. But 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, and 7.5 milligrams are not on the FDA shortage list. Just because something is not on the FDA shortage list does not mean that it's not in a lower supply. It may just not have been updated on the FDA's list. The government is slow. <laughs> Our federal government is slow. I am so grateful to live in the United States, but it is slow. And so knowing that, that the FDA list may not be updated yet, but you still may experience not being able to get your prescription or having to call in a 45 mile radius to get your prescription, which is what I had to do. And there was one box in a 45 mile radius area, which was crazy because I live in rural Virginia, but I went into an area near Northern Virginia, which is outside of Washington DC with millions and millions and millions of people. And there was only one box left. It's crazy by the way. Um, so changing your dose because of the Manjaro shortage, I've had to do that and that's okay. So these last two were not actually the worst. They're actually some of the best decisions uh, to increase your Manjaro dose is the food cheddar, talking about that with your healthcare provider when you know you've ticked those boxes and two with the Manjaro shortage as well. You can't control that. You can't change that. Maybe switching to a compound and join Fridays, the telehealth company I recommend use the code queen. They have um, where they prescribe both name brands and compounds together. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're great. They, Focus in on GLP-1, like that's their jam, is GLP-1 medications. Uh, and if, you're, if your healthcare provider, if this isn't their jam of being a specialist in that area, why would you not want to go to a specialist? Why would I go to a general practitioner if I'm having an earache, right? Like, I want to go to somewhere where <laughs> you got to go there first, but then for continuous ongoing care, for me, massive, I started with my primary care doctor, and I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't way over their heads. I want someone who's up to date on information, who knows this, um, talked to Join Fridays yesterday about the savings card thing. They're all over it. They all they knew it. Like, I love that. I digress. Number six in here. This is the bonus tip for your worst um, decision to increase your Manjaro dose was increasing of side effects. Um, if you're having high side effects right now, meaning you're having a lot of diarrhea, you're really nauseous. Um, you're having constipation badly, like you've been using all the tricks and tools I've talked about for constipation. I would encourage you to tell your healthcare provider this and be like, hey, this seems like a lot. Like, I don't think, because do you think that your side effects are going to get better by going to a, more of the medication <laughs> by titrating up on Manjaro or titrating up on Zebbound? For me, I would be, and I, people have asked me, and the reason why I say this, I'm like, no babes, like I would, I would tell my healthcare provider, like, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm already having really blowout diarrhea or whatever. I'm just using that as an example. But like, if you're having higher, like, having some diarrhea, some constipation, some nausea, it, Eli Lilly tells us that that is the most common side effects. That's, that's normal. You're not, you're not special. <laughs> you are special. You are special, but it's not special in terms of that side effect. They tell us, Eli Lilly, the manufacturer. What's serious is if you're having severe sharp pains, immediately talk to your healthcare provider. Um, pancreatitis, appendicitis. There is a rare thyroid cancer. It's genetic, by the way, if it's family history of having that. Talk to your healthcare provider again about all these serious side effects on there. But if you're having you know, a lot of diarrhea, maybe not. <laughs> a lot of nausea, maybe not increase. That would be another, that's a bonus tip for you. Um, so I hope that that's helpful. We have, uh, down below, we, I have a free Manjaro Weight Loss Encouragement group. Um, all are welcome at that table. You do need to answer all of the questions. I am, it is a quality-based group. I do not allow spam in there. There's a lot of things I don't allow and there's a lot of things I do allow because it's an encouragement group and a safe space. So make sure you answer those questions. If you were denied getting into that group, just shoot me an email. It's probably because you were flagged as spam. And if you've been on the waiting list for it, you've probably been flagged as spam. If your account is less than five years, that's one of the indicators of um, Facebook spam. So if not on the description link below, shoot me an email, I'll help you out with that. Make sure you get my free Manjaro weight loss success checklist and Zetbound weight loss success checklist down below too. Um, and all of my Manjaro shopping list. If you're like, I am just starting Manjaro on 2.5 milligrams. I don't know what I need to have. What should I do? What do I need to get? There's a couple of things I would encourage. One is the Smart Tape Body Measure um, with the corresponding scale on there. I like this scale because it's a muscle mass scale. This all syncs to one app, and this really helps on weight stalls, which to me, it's not a matter of if it's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen. Two is magnesium. I have switched over, and I have a discount link in the description for magnesium, which helps with a lot of different things on the weight loss journey. 
I've, I've tested a bunch. That's my favorite because it has seven types of magnesium in it versus the old one I used to talk about that had one. And then my loose skin cream, losing 80 pounds. I do have loose skin. Uh, eventually I'll have loose skin surgery. When I'm done with my weight loss, I'm on a 100 to 125 pound journey. So I'm not to my goal weight yet. Um, but this certainly, the only thing that's gonna get rid of loose skin is surgery. This certainly helps. It helps, it makes me, it gives my confidence. It helps me be able to put on a bathing suit better. And for sure, the element electrolytes, that is something that is, for me, definitely a take on the day before my shot, the day of my shot, and the day after my shot. That's been very, very helpful. So I hope that these are, um, I hope these six tips, I said five tips, but we actually got six tips today, are helpful for you when you're thinking about, should I increase my dose? Should I go up from that Manjaro 5 milligrams to Manjaro 7.5 milligrams? Or is that bound and titrating up? I hope that this has been helpful for you. Make sure you check out Countess of Shopping also down at countessofshopping.com, also in the description link below as well, um, to help you if you need some other resources too. One thing that I did just buy that I love sharing with you guys is that same scale, the muscle, it's a body weight scale. It has 13 component measurements on it in addition to muscle mass. It syncs with the smart tape, but it also syncs with the blood pressure cuff. And it goes to one app. So just be mindful. Um, there's been some confusion about if it corresponds with iOS and Android. It does work with Androids, but not all. So just being mindful. Some people have had issues, some people have not. So if you have an Android, maybe thinking about putting it on your iPad. For pe other people, like it's no big deal. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, friends.